Hello fam, it's Isabel. Welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to say thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And damn you and I am so happy and I hope that I make you happy and inspire and sana may natutulang kayo sa mga videos ko. So for this makeup tutorial that I'm gonna be doing today, it's gonna be not wearable for everyday. It, hindi siya pang mall. Hindi siya pang everyday makeup. It is for events, for parties. It looks a bit difficult but it's easy. I'll show um, some photos here that I've shot. Ayan. <laughs> diba? Mukha siyang mahirap, pero it's easy. Like, kaya nga I want to show na you can do it on your own. So we're gonna start to transform my face because I feel so ugly right now. For my foundation, I'll be using Chanel Vital Luminaire Aqua. This is a shake, shake, shake. <laughs> this is a shake, shake foundation. So I'm going to put it in mixing palette. Ko. This has SPF 15. This foundation is one of my favorites. I've been using this foundation for how many years now? Okay, I think I'm good with that. So that is our first step. Next, we're gonna conceal the blemishes and then we're gonna highlight my high points of my face. This is my favorite part when I'm doing my makeup. I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. And sobrang gusto ko itry. And finally, I have it. Sobrang ganda niya. I've been using it. Tinitipid ko nga eh. Very full coverage siya. So, nalagay ko siya sa mga pimples ko. Medyo nag-break out si ate girl. I'm just gonna be using a blending brush. This is by Swish. So, look at that full coverage effect. Sobra niyang daling gamitin. You can also use your blender. So, we applied our foundation and our concealer. Now, we're gonna do the brows. I'll be using MAC Velvet Stone Deluxe Brow Pencil. It has a spoolie in the end and then the pencil in the other end. So, this is a powder form of pencil. Kaya madali siya i-blend out. Kahit makapal yung ninagay mo, just brush it out and may erase siya. So, kung nagkamali ka, pwede mo siya pa rin ibura. So I like to apply it only the outer because I'm just gonna blend that out with an angle brush. Buff the product, inner. So you're just scattering the product. Because when I do my brows, I like it to be very light in the inner, para mas natural. And then sa outer naman para mas nagdarken siya, mas mo natural. So for this look, um, it depends on you if ano gusto nyo brows. You can always play around with your look. For me, I think since I'm doing a very edgy, edgy feminine eye look, I want my brows to be also strong, para cohesive sila. And then we're going for a subtle lip color. I'm gonna be doing another trick sa brows, but later na after the whole look. Okay, let's go for the cheeks and then the eyes. So I have the Casual Color by MAC. This is a very pinkish lavender color. You can use this so much. You can use it for your eyes, you can use it for your cheeks, your lips. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna be applying this in my cheeks using my ring finger. So just really dab the color because we want it to melt in our skin to blend well with the foundation. And I wouldn't apply powder, any powder, with this look because we're using a cream product. So now I'm gonna apply it also in my eyes. Still using my ring finger, I'm just really dabbing all over the lid. It doesn't have to be perfect because for the eyes, we're just going for that really smudge look. And I'm just gonna also apply it also in the lips. Alright, so that's the base. Moving on, we're going to focus on the eyes na. So I have this Everbelena Matic Eyeliner, the Hazel Brown. This comes with the retractable eye pencil. The color is like this. 
So I'm applying it in the waterline. If you're having a hard time on applying the waterline, use your pinky finger in the middle of your eyes and then just smudge it all throughout in the inner part of your eye near the teardrop. And then after we apply the in the waterline, we're gonna apply it in the lash line naman on top of it. Like I said, this is not supposed to be clean. This is a smudge look. So it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna smudge it out with a mini shader brush. So I'm using a Swesh mini shader brush that it's flat. So you, we're just gonna smudge this. And then I'm gonna apply another layer. For this look, it depends on you na if you want to make it darker. So you can always add more product. And then also in the lower part of your eyes, the lash line, also in the waterline. Yeah, it's coming together. So smudge it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then if you have an eyeshadow that is brown, any brown shade that is lighter than your pencil, we're gonna apply a bit of eyeshadow. I'll be using a pencil brush and I have the MAC palette here. This is the Warm Neutral MAC palette. I'm just using the brown shade. You can use any brown shade, basta lighter. And then I'm just dabbing in my lower lash. And then I'm also applying in the upper. In my inner corner of my eyes, also in the outer. Get a blending brush and same color, tap the excess and then all over the lid, circular motion. We're creating that warm eyeshadow look with a rose color effect. So you can stop there, but for me, I really just wanna dig in more product. I wanna intense that look. So I'm just going back to the Everbilena retractable brown pencil in the eyes. I am very edgy. Very edgy but feminine because of the cream color base that we applied. So I just want to retouch the cream color base in the middle of my eyes. And then I'm gonna do this eye. I'm just gonna do it on my own. I don't want to make this a long video. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I've done my other eye and this is the eyeshadow look. Now we're gonna do the mascara. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna apply the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Mascara. So our mascara will really take it to the next level of the whole look. Because this will really open up our eyes, make it more dramatic. I love mascara changes everything. I don't know. My difference. Really apply it in the roots of your lashes. And I'm not satisfied with that yet. I love this mascara. Okay. If you watch my haul, my Bangkok haul, I've um, bought this in Bangkok. This is the lash fibers. In the other end, it has your typical mascara wand. So, I applied my hyper curl first because yun nga. If you all know, my my lashes are really very picky. Mabilis na bumaksak, so I have to use this first and make it longer and have more volume. First, I'm gonna apply lash fiber. All right, nalobat yung camera ko, so I had to change the battery. As I was saying, um, apply the fiber. My fiber mascara pa ba tayo dito sa Pilipinas? Alam ko na uso to sa atin dati. Alala ko when I was in high school, sobrang addicted ako sa mga fiber mascaras. Ngayon bumalik. I'm addicted again. So, I'm not satisfied pa rin. I'm gonna add pa. I do like three layers if I want super long lashes. To those who doesn't like applying false lashes, I think you'll like this mascara. Kasi pinapahaba niya yung lashes. So, nalagay ko lang talaga siya sa end. Next! So, three layers. Very dramatic. Very intense. I got this from Sephora. This was given to me when you buy a lot of products. I'm gonna try it. Okay naman siya. I don't wanna risk applying it in my top lashes. So that's our eyes. I haven't been using this. Actually, hindi ko siya nagagamit kasi I'm pale and this is super gold. Maganda siya sa mga morena. As you can see, it's really 
goldish, copperish color. And we're gonna use it today. This is not a pang mall look. This is for events. So I'm using this all over my cheeks, also in the temples. So I really have to blend that out a bit in my cupid's bow. And then we're also applying this in our eyes. So ring finger, then just dab it in the middle area. I wanna go back to my blush and intense that. Because you don't want your highlighter to overpower your blush. Also in the eyeshadow. I want them to stand out, both of them. So more important hint of um, rose color in my cheeks and the highlighter is also seen and then also in the eyes they're very cohesive and then also in the lips very subtle down and then i'm gonna bronze up the whole face i'm gonna be using the hula benefit powder this is in my haul my high-end haul part two if you haven't watched my hauls you can check them out i've bought a bunch of products if you're interested so all over the forehead to create warmth in the jaw. So this look is really wearable. You can wear it in a day event, you can wear it in a night event because it's not really overpowering. Everything balances well because you have a subtle lip color and then you have an intense eye makeup. I want to have that very defined cheek. So different a while ago. So I'm just gonna wear a lip gloss on top of the cream color base that I used earlier. This is just a normal dazzle glass of MAC. Ayan, very subtle lang siya. I'm just gonna define more of the lip color. I'm using the Boldly Bare of MAC. Para may shape lang. <laughs> when you apply your lip pencil, make sure to apply it first, then your lip gloss. Don't copy me. Pretty. I think we're done. This is the final look. No, wait. For the brows, I said earlier that I'm gonna brush it up. So just get a mascara. Just gonna use the Maybelline. Get a spoolie, a disposable spoolie. And then we're gonna do this in the brows. I want my brows to look brushed up. This will really look like you have well-groomed brows. Very high fashion. Kita ba sa camera? I'm gonna zoom in. Ayan, look at my brows. Ganda kita. So that's a technique also. Use any mascara. This is called brushed effect. So I'll transform my whole look with my hair. I'm gonna give that wet vibes. This is just water. So I'm just gonna really spray my hair all over. Kasi nakita niyo kanina when I flashed the photo. It's a wet look. Siyempre, hindi naman bagay naka-ponytail ako tapos ganito yung look ko, di ba? Kailangan natin sabayan with the hair. Photoshoot. Naalala ko talaga when we do um, team days when I work in MAC. We always love the wet look. <laughs> so that is the final look, di ba? I'll apply a bit of highlighter din dito to add a bit of warmth. Ayan. So very glowy, very clean, and then Fix Plus all over the face. So we're done. Anyway, this is just, um, you can actually wear your hair bahala ka na. So I like it like this because this is just my YouTube channel. I want to create looks, I want to be trendy, be fashionable. So this is not your ordinary YouTube makeup tutorial. So you know the drill. Click the thumbs up button if you like it. Show some love in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified, please click the notification bell down there. So I upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays. And yes, before I forget, I know I upload every Wednesdays and Saturdays, but please bear with me. Sometimes I do upload Monday or Tuesday Thursday or Friday. I do vlog my daily life when there's something interesting that's going on with me. So yeah, see you on my next video. Bye!